It's like three o'clock. Bibu is still sleeping. I gotta wake his ass up. We have to train at about five, five forty-five. I've been up. I just went back to bed. <laughs> yeah, but I was up. I was up at seven. I stayed what? up until like ten. What'd you eat? And I closed my eyes. Nothing yet. Mm. Shorts. You're two twenty-five. Two twenty-five point seven. Mm. So we came back. We came back at like 2.20 from, you know, Minnesota kind of depleted. We moved a bunch of gym equipment, which I'm happy with. You guys who've been watching this video or watching my channel for a long time know that I bought an extensive amount of gym equipment during like COVID time and a little bit after COVID time because I'm eventually going to open up my own gym or private gym or just private facility for me to train in when I need to go in the most animalistic mode possible where I don't affiliate with anyone and anything and all I do is eat and train. I already do that kind of, but m more in a public setting now because I'm in Texas and I'm around other people that do it, but I wanna have it where I do have those brief moments where I do this by myself, you know, winter time maybe, when I just can have a full blown beer and I, I look like I just got off of a, an island, you know? But we're 225 right now, right? Legs are always terrible, but we're, we're gonna bring them up. We have hack squats actually in the program now. I, I've never had access to an actual hack squat machine that's one, specifically built for me, and then two, that actually works properly. Um, so we've been doing a little bit of hack squats. I got like four plates on there, everything's moving great. And then we have my horizontal leg press, which I've been trying to find in this gym. Any gym. I actually went and bought it up past Elfland, and they didn't even have a horizontal leg press. The ones that I bought that's in my gym, they didn't have it, and it's a, it's a great piece. If you guys have a gym that has one, use it, especially if you squat low bar. If you squat high bar, you don't have to use it. You can use a belt, squat whatever you want, but that leg press, horizontal, good, good leg press, especially when you're a low bar squatter. It got me up to my 700 pounds, and I will say that for sure, because I tried taking it out using my own belt squat, I tried doing my other stuff, couldn't get my, you know, my squat actually went down, and then I started using it, implementing it better, and actually now squatted 700. Now we're trying to get stronger than that. But, we're trying to get bigger, we're trying to get up to 250 pounds now. We actually got up to 240 actually before our first Gymshark shoot in Texas. But, uh, you know, just travel, 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 shoot, 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 inconsistent, consistent, terrible, terrible, terrible. Now I'm 220 flat, but now I'm 225. We're feeling good. We're just gonna keep the road to strength and agility and recovery back to it. Is your camera? Got a surprise for you. Oh! oh! <laughs> I'm gonna have to sneak the clips off your camera because you're just filming right now. Yeah, but I brought your camera as well, so it's like I can do both. Mm, mm. You don't want these cameras on? Oh. Yeah, you you guys know, I know, I know. I know. right here so, this is this spot. Right here yeah. is the spot. Like, so this, I'm standing yeah. right here. So, this is what I do usually, right? If I'm getting very, it's, if, if it's getting difficult for me to eat food, I'll be like, alright, guys, and I'll take my, my blender or I'll take my bowl of food. I'll walk Look in here and I'll shut it. Look at this guy. <laughs> I'll shut my doors, I'll lock my doors, I'll throw my headphones on, I'm just eating. And then what I do is I have. Look at this, literally playing. <laughs> He's on this arc. Right. Yeah. I was looking at. He's rich. Mm. No, but these are. The real question is. This is some. This is some good stuff right I'm here, man. for this because. With Gymshark coming back, we're creating a lot of things. We need to look at old products. We need to, you know, see what was good. And this new shirt that we have coming out is really good. It's phenomenal. It's probably the best. It, it, it beats the Onyx. It beats everything they've created beforehand. I can't wear it in my videos because we have to wait for we get a uh, um, patch. So it gets patented like a product patent design and a bunch of other stuff. And they have to make sure all their suppliers can do the shirt. But soon when I get the approval, I'll be able to wear it in my videos. You guys saw a little teaser sneak peek, very sneak peek, but it's way more complex than it was actually shown. But I bought this Ooh. just for nostalgic reasons, it, it, that nostalgic oh. purpose. 
I remember being like, uh, I, I must have been like 17 or whatnot. I remember when Dave was wearing this and I was like, because it holds that nostalgic value. Yes. And on top of it, we need to have samples. We need to see other things um, for products. I was like, I, I, I spent, I dropped a bag on this. Those are expensive, I dropped a bag bro. on this, but. Oh, oh look at that. I wanted it. Oh, man. And then What's we have in the this other one. box? This one is for another video, which I'll, I'll have to cut. An idea what I'm gonna do with this. So Dave and I, yeah. and then we'll, so when we go to LA, yeah. and then Dave and I and the Fagans, we're gonna do this like nostalgia. Flavor is that? It's a new one, dropping Monday. Pina colada. I was mm. gonna say mango peach, but I knew that wasn't it. Yeah, just, just put some blood in. You don't have to lock it. Yeah. I mean, you never know. You're right, though, but. There's precautions. Imagine we have like somebody come in here and just stealing like... Oh, just like last time, remember when the we couldn't find your equipment? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's not bad. No, no, pina colada was what it is? Yeah. Damn. I just... Yeah, D yeah, I know. Look. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, that was like, ah. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, no, it. I know about it. I always go on the left lane because I was driving down. I was going 45 on this road. The same, and I had Johnny's barbell. Oh, the did it bar, come up? Yeah, it come up. Oh, I got so scared. You're the only sunshine in my life. Feels like heaven when I take me. Kind of looking like Borat today, dude. Uh, you grow, nice. You growing the mustache out? This is my sister. <laughs> Number four from oh, Kazakhstan. <laughs> very nice. Yep. Do they have day passes here? No, you just pay him whenever. I'll pay. I'll PayPal him forty-four, and you'll pay him forty-four. Okay. <laughs> he does PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm banned from PayPal guys indefinitely forever. I will never be able to get on PayPal ever again I hope you guys know this so anytime a company goes hey Sawyer like we'll pay for you we'll, We want to pay you to do this something right it will never work out. They have to do bank transfer or or Venmo. Swift or whatever it's called because Venmo yeah PayPal I'm done like me and PayPal. Nothing. We're not brothers anymore. That's it. Nobody's we're not friends <laughs> You ready? I am ready to rock and roll. Let's go. What's done by OCD?
Tell them. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. We just crushed the 529. I don't even know, guys. I warmed up and I was I did like 45. I was like, oh yeah, that feels good. And then I, I was like, no, 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 no. After I went into my back downs, and I hit my 425 for five or something. I was like, no, no, no. You gotta go back up. The 45 for four stuff. It moved way too smooth. I can't just come on and just, oh yeah, it feels good today. No, we went back. We rode a 529 and we just hit for a four. Oh. Since we're keeping it at a seven, I it's might probably just smarter because it, just squat already. Like you already like want to. Oh yeah, I'm, t I'm staying there. Good. It's great for our seven. Great for our, our first week uh, our SPD. Yep. Um, I think we're gonna just keep kind of progressing over there. That's a good start I think of the block. We'll do a black next week if, if we're feeling good, like a, a silver or a black, you know, and then just constantly kind of work up. So then, what I've been doing, my main bench rip so far has been ring finger, you know. Yeah. I haven't been doing any pointers or middle fingers. Ring fingers have been good. And then for my, I'll, I'll do pinkies on my Mondays, medium grip. Nice. But we're feeling, we're feeling good. Things juicy. We have a couple of reps now, I think, of two. So I'm going to do like three, 347, nice. I think, or two. Easy. And then we'll go in, roll in on some incline bench. Yep. And then some deads. And then, and then we just pull 800 pounds? What? What? Come on, man. Oh yeah, 
That was very good. <laughs> what a good time. Uh, what what time is it right now? It's like almost 12. 11, almost 12? What, what time do we get here? Uh, like, like six? Yeah, I'll check, I'll check. Good six hours. Good six hours of training. Yeah. Good six hours of uh Oh, uh, well, 7.52 I got, I was on like only three reds. Hmm. We're definitely in the gym before that. 6.38, that's when I took a photo of this. 6.38. So about probably like 6, 6.50, 6.45 we uh, started training. So a good five and a half. Jesus. Yeah. That's all right. Good day. I could go home, eat turkey. That's what I'm doing. Turkey time. Turkey. Shake. It's pretty much night time. <laughs> No, there's not even pretty much. It's for sure nighttime. It's like almost three, but uh, we gotta we gotta get this food in. You know, uh, my body's feeling like absolute crap. I can tell. Like you know, when you your body's like been up way longer than it should have been. Uh, that's how my body feels right now. Like my back's like back muscles are starting to like not cramp up but swell, almost. Uh, but it's okay because I know that I need to get this in my system more than the sleep because I'm gonna get the eight hours. You know, I'm in an area in my life now that I can get my eight hours almost any time. And I know like, oh, hey, circadian, uh, circadian rhythm, all that stuff, right? That's great. But circadian rhythm isn't gonna help me gain more weight. And I need that long run, you know? So, I'm gonna get on a better schedule. It was just, we're, Kind of multitasking. We're gonna get multiple things get done, but uh, I'm just kind of showing you guys. You know, even though sometimes you gotta balance, you know, sleep over food, and sometimes you gotta balance the food over sleep. It's just how it is, you know. But uh, today I chose the food over the sleep, even though I will be getting my eight hours. And I will be editing this video. I'm just super excited, motivated. There's so much things planned for this year. I uh, let me get this first. So we did two cups of fruit. We have mango and strawberry, um, berries, whatever. Two cups of warm water in the shake. Now I have a cup and a half of blended oats right here. You gotta blend them so they work actually in the shake. I don't have an expensive blender. I have like a $30 blender, but yeah. Put that in here. This is gonna be a 1200 calorie shake carb load. I like to have this in the morning and before I go to bed I wake up hungry. I wake up full. I have great workouts <laughs> Now that that's out I have one peanut butter uh, one banana two tablespoons of peanut butter and then I do two cups of fair life on it Look at that I, uh, I take the banana out and so instead of I have to put it on the sides, a lot of people put it on the sides and then you waste it. So if you just do the, the banana, it kind of just falls in. You don't have to worry about it. I'm so excited to eat this, drink it, whatever. I'm just trying to, I just want to get big. I just want to be 240, like 250. I want to be 250, you know. I, I got up to 240 here. I know we can get up to 250. I'm going to be a menace. And when I did get up to 240, I was kind of injured, so I wasn't happy about it. When I get to 250, dude, lights out. You guys are done. Like, competition, they're done. Out. They're dead. Two cups. Pro tip. 
if you have a hard time chugging, like I know a lot of people can just chug, right? Don't think about opening up your mouth, just think about moving your tongue and the, the liquid will fall through. And it's just, you're just moving your tongue in and in and in, it's just like this, and it actually will help. So there's like these small tip, like these not tips, just small things I've picked up having to eat so much food. Like if you feel like you're about to throw up, hum, it will help. I've had many nights where I've been very, very bloated and I feel like I gotta throw up and I hum myself to sleep. Not because of the, oh, I enjoyed the humming sound. It was because I was about to throw up. I would have to go to my side and I would have to go, hmm, hmm. And those are rough nights. And I, when I do get those though, I know I, uh, I'm doing the things that most people aren't gonna go to, you know, the extent I'm going to. And it, it kind of helps me keep pushing forward to wanting to be better than the average individual. I want to be better than my competition. Most importantly, I want to be better than my old self. You know, I'm always trying to be better. So, pro tips, you know, the tongue thing, <laughs> the humming, you know, uh, spacing out your meals. I just want you guys to get bigger with me. You know, I want to be 250. I want you guys to be 200 pounds plus. And um, we're going to grow together. We're going to get stronger together, you know. It's truly amazing for me to be able to be in the position that I'm in right now, for real. Um, being just really honest with you guys, I'm very fortunate enough to do this. Every year I'm just, I pray thanking God that I'm in this position because it, uh, it's just, I get an extra year, I get another year, another year, and it keeps getting better and better. I signed with Gymshark this year. I moved pretty much to Houston. I have two roommates that are amazing. Or creating content. I'm living the dream that I've always wanted when I was in math class. I remember I would be staring off into space while my teacher, Mr. Winslow, would be running equations on the board, right? And I would just be thinking in my desk what I wanted to achieve through my fitness journey and all this stuff. And I had a notebook and I would write everything that down that I needed to do, what numbers I had to hit, what I would have to do to get to where I'm at. And now I've done it and now I'm in this position where I'm like, you know, because this was before, this was before TikTok was even a thing. This is because TikTok didn't, TikTok even fitness didn't even spike to like COVID season, right? But like, this was before TikTok was pretty much a fitness app. It was just a dancing app pretty much at that time. And the majority of how you'd get fitness content was through YouTube and Instagram. And it, it's crazy because it was never, it's never been about, oh, hey, let me get this new fancy car and show it off on, on my YouTube and Instagram and be a rich mofo, right? That, that, that was never the thing. It was like just being financially stable of like being able to like work out for a living, you know? Uh, the goal is, is never to be like the richest or the most wealthy. It's just been like, I want to be able to prolong this as long as I can where it's like I have enough money for groceries, enough for the house, and enough for a gym membership so I can train. And um, that's always been my, my goal and what I've always been doing. When I was even younger, when I had two jobs, I put all my money into my my, my dream of, okay, I'll, I'll work all summer to buy a camera or I'll, I'll work all all three months of my work to afford a MacBook, right? And I would keep my jobs to be able to afford my supplements, my foods and things like that. So now we have it where I have my own, I have my supplement sponsor, I have my clothing sponsor and I have two roommates that are amazing and I can have it where I'm training and I wake up to food and training, and now it's being able to alter my goals of what I want physically, mentally, and um, just just different goals like that, but I just wanna come down and be like, it, it, not even come down, just like, I wanna just tell you guys how thankful I am because this is a dream come true that I'm being able to do because of you guys. And I don't think enough respect is given to the followers, and then even when it is given to them, this is how your influencer people do it, is they go like this. Yeah, guys, like this, this wouldn't be done without you. They're not even looking at you in the eye. All right, it's so weird to me. Like, I'm looking at you. I am looking at you. Who's on the screen? I'm seeing you, right? So I'm just, <laughs> now I look down, so it looks weird. But I'm just telling you guys, I'm super thankful for you guys. I'm super thankful for the position you're putting me in. And I hope, sorry, stop right there. Uh, I hope to be able to give back as much as I can and provide uh, content for you guys and be able to show you guys that you could do it. You know, I'm t from town of 2,000 people. I got a Gymshark sponsorship. I became incredible. I've met incredible people. Um, 
and I, I don't like to say I'm incredible successful, but I would say I'm doing good. I'm doing good for myself, and there's only it's only up from here, right? And I'm excited to be able to showcase this to you guys and the people that I've been with there who've just started, but the people that have been following me for quite some time. It's amazing to be able to see you guys and be able to see that you guys have been watching me for some some time now. And they they, they like when I was in the UK, it really kind of opened up my eyes because they're like, dude, I remember I was watching you back when you did this and that. And it's so cool being able to see your journey. And it's like, wow, that's so motivating to be able to, because I, I know how long, how hard I've worked. And I'm very grateful that I was able to document it in such a way where people understand how m not much of a quote unquote struggle, but just like how much effort I had to put to be here. And I, I, I'm not backing down. I, I want. I want it all. I want it a lot. I want it more than a lot of these other influencers. These people that are gifted with this and this and this. I. I. I, I don't. I, that's cool and everything. I'm here in my own lane, and I'm just going to continue prospering and getting better. And I want to be able to put out quality content as well as just being uh, the best person. And um, I don't even want to call it like influencer, ever, but I just want to be able to be the best person for me and be a, be a good role model for you guys too. You know, I'm not trying to be the uh, let's go smoke weed, hang out with strippers, blah, blah, blah. No, I, I, I don't care about that. I care about training, hardcore focusing, and th th those are what kind of gear results, you know? So um, that's what I'm here to provide. I'm here to provide with strength, power, things like that and the occasional shake and food. So, I'm gonna slam this. End of the video. Thank you guys. Comment, subscribe, doing all that stuff helps a lot. Shows tremendous value to other companies that see me. Um, it shows that I have a great audience. It also shows that I can see, see what you guys comment when you comment things, as well as, you know, which is the algorithm, because we gotta get these videos out because we wanna hit 100K. We're gonna hit 100K on Instagram. As soon as we hit 100K on Instagram, I'm like not gonna focus tr primarily on it any anymore. Like I'll, I'm still gonna like use it obviously, but like I wanna then just go hard on YouTube because that 100K is a cool number and I just want that on YouTube again. We're at like 42K, I know we can hit 100K on YouTube and I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go hard at it. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me.